What's up, everyone? Mark Price here at DevSlopes.com. Let's continue forward with our React app. And our notification service is in place, though I realize here at the bottom we need to export it. So let's go ahead and do that now. Export default notification service. Boom. All right, so what we want to do is in our data service, we actually want to start posting notifications. But in order for us to post notification, we should probably start, we should probably have a central place where we can store them. And so we're going to do that here at the top of the notification service. We're going to create some global constants. Okay, so export const notif wish list changed equals notif wish list changed. And all I'm really doing here is I'm creating a global constant that can be accessed by anyone. You know, because what you don't want to do is you don't want a developers who are using your notification service to like accidentally misspell a notification here and there. If we have a central place where they're named, uh, it's easy to access them and it makes it makes life a little bit easier. And so let's go to our data service. I'm gonna copy this here because we're gonna need it. Let's go into our data service. And from the top up here, okay, let's import that notification service. So import, I'm just gonna call this notif service just so it's uh, shorter. <laughs> um, and uh, oh, let's call it notification service. Notification service. All right. And then we're going to import that uh, that specific export. OK. Dot, dot, slash. And we're going to say um, service. Oh, wait, actually, it's in the same directory. So this is going to be notification um, dash service. That looks good to me. Okay. Cool. So here's our constant notification wish list changed. Um, of course, always keep your, your terminal open so you can make sure there's no errors as you're coding. Um, I save a lot. So, and what we want to do is create an instance of it now. So what we're going to do is we're going to say let ns for notification service equals new notification service. Now, remember, Normally, when you do new, it creates a new copy, but this will only ever happen once. No matter how many times I would create a new notification service, it would still be referencing the same one in memory, which is really important. Okay, really, really important in, in, what, in the way that we're using it. And so all I really want to do is post a notification whenever we add, add a wish list item or whenever we um, remove a wish list item. Okay, so adding the wish list item, how do we post notification? Well, we wrote the code for it already. We say ns post did we write the, actually, did we write the code for it? Now I'm, I'm a little, uh, we did not write the code for it. You're like, what are you talking about? Um, we got to write that code first to post a notification. Duh. So I'm back here in uh, notification service. And let's do that now. Post notification. Notif name, data. So what does it need to know? It needs to know the name of the notification and what data you want to pass into it. Um, whether that's a new wish list or an item or whatever it is that you want. It's arbitrary. You get to decide. And you'll see it in action here soon, OK? So let OBS equals observers notif name. So we grab the observers. And we got to go through every single observer. So for var x equals 0, x is less than obs.length, x plus plus. OK, so let's go through every observer that uh, for this notification. And all we got to do is say, hey, um, something changed. I'm just letting you know. This is Goofy. This is Goofy right here calling you at Disney at 7 in the morning. Okay. So what we're going to say is var obj equals obs x. So let's grab that specific item inside of that array, the observer. And then we just say obj callback. So we call the callback function, which we created, remember, down, down here somewhere. See this callback right here, this key? We set the key name right there. So we're just calling that function. Remember, it's a function. And we're passing in the data that needs to get pushed in there. OK? Again, this is probably confusing, but it's OK. You're going to see it in action. And you can watch this again and again. And I wouldn't expect you to know how to do this on the first time, OK? Or the 10th time. It takes time. Post notification. So we're posting the name of the notification, the data that comes with it. And then we go through each um, observer in the list of observers. And then we call its callback. We're basically doing the goofy call right here on every single one, letting everybody know. OK, so post notification. Now back in our data service, we can post the notification. So post notification. And look at that. It even has the, the helper there. So it takes an observer and a notification name. No, I think it's giving me baloney. <laughs> Let's see what it is. 
I think that pop up is smoke and crack. Um, yeah, we want the note of name and the data. It's tripping out. So the note of name is this, remember? And the data, okay, well, the data in this case is probably the brand new wish list. The entire wish list is changed. So let's uh, just send that up. Boom, like so. Yeah, I like that. Hmm. Okay. Add wish list item, remove wish list item. That looks good. Um, and we probably need one when we remove an item as well, too, right? So we'll copy this here. And right before the break, we've now removed it from the array. Yeah, we've moved it from the we've removed it from the array. So now we can post a notification saying that the wish list has changed. We've removed it. Okay. Awesome. Very very good. So we add an item. It posts notification uh, with the new item in the wish list uh, that it's changed. Same thing with removing a wish list item. Okay. So let's think about our app now. There's no errors yet, so that's good. Um, what we need to do is. What we need to do is start working with the functions, you know, getting clicking and things things working. Um, so we kind of, it, it's kind of hard when you're building multiple components to figure out what do I build first? I'm building this notification service, the data service, but how do I get it to connect? And so what I like to do is I go as far as I can. So I think I've gone as far as I can with the notification service and as far as I can with the data service. And I haven't really tested them out yet, but I can't really because I haven't put that code over yet. But it's really hard. I don't want to run a bunch of fake tests, right? I want to kind of start working towards getting the functionality in my app going. So I think what I want to do is I would like it to make it so when I click this button here, it calls an event and then sends the data to the wish list. We'll worry about removing these later. But the first thing I want to do is when I click a blue button, I want that item to be added to my wish list. And I think that'll help us tie everything down the way it needs to go. So. Let's call this video done, and let's do that in the next video. How does that sound? Yeah, good. Uh, that's it for now. Mark Price at devslopes.com.